hi students today we are going to see the plane rotation method we have already completed the plane rotation method now the you know we will see how the plane rotation method will be so for that uh, the method i will start from the i just say the method only so first i will do x y line now see uh, based on a problem i will explain the plane rotation method see will see the same problem as we have seen the line rotation method draw the projection of a line if the point a is 10 cm 10 mm above hp means first we will draw a dash 10 mm above hp a dash will be 10 mm above hp that is a dash 10 mm above x y line and uh, 15 mm in front of vp means that is 15 mm below x y line on same line 15 mm below x y line mark a so we have marked a and a dash now they have told that distance between end projectiles is distance between end projectiles is 60 mm so from here measure 60 mm so measure 60 mm then draw a, a projection line on it mark what point b is 40 mm above hp right so 40 mm above mark b dash and 60 mm in front of EP. So 60 mm in front means here. So you have drawn A dash A, B dash B. Now, so after this front view topi, join front view and topi. So I will be extending this XY line. Now, see, what we are going to do is, we are going to apply the plane rotation method in order to find the two lengths. So, in plane rotation method, we will start from any point. We can either start from end, the end points. End points means A dash B dash A B. Uh, in front view or top view, you can start either either of the views. Means, uh, we are starting from views, not on true length, right? Check, these are not true length. These are front view and top view. So, uh, what I am going to tell you is, we will be doing on views only, not on true length. So, uh, we are uh, here discussing the method to find the true length from front view or top view, right? Suppose we start from any of the, any of the points. So, first what we are going to do is take from A dash. So, from A dash, draw a perpendicular line. So, 90 degree, I am taking 90 degree. So, draw a perpendicular line. Now, so we have drawn a perpendicular from a dash in order to find the true length corresponding to that point measure the distance from x y line to a on it so the x y line dot a where the distance on cut on that that maybe you will get capital a so take uh, if you want to locate true length true point on true length of a given uh, point in which view is given that is either front view or top view is we know the either of the front view or top view and we have to find that corresponding point on true length then draw a perpendicular from one view and mark on it distance of opposite view to it see a dash in on work in the angle a dash in the perpendicular area and opposite in the a the text value will distance the area so draw a perpendicular from a dash take distance of a that is opposite is a from x y line to it and mark capital a. capital a is the true length right so i will name it as a1 for your purpose this machine now the next thing you have to do is you have to draw perpendicular from similarly you have to find b right so before that remember this you have to do while drawing if you are drawing end points after completing the first point before going to the second point check whether opposite view is crossing or not opposite view is crossing here see a b is crossing x y line or not see a is below x y line b is below x y line that is it is not not at all crossing the x y line crossing the x y line means one point will be below x y line another will be above x y line so it is not crossing the x y line that means draw perpendicular from b dash in the same direction as you have done in the a dash so uh, if it is crossing if a b is crossing from means Perpendicular is drawn from A dash and B dash should be in opposite direction that we will see in the next question. So, here it is not crossing. So, perpendicular from A dash 
and beta should be in same direction that is you have to draw like this 90 degree now what you have to do on that take distance here see take six take the distance of b to x y line when uh, while drawing perpendicular from b dash take distance of b to x y line and cut it on it so take this distance and cut it on it or to obtain the i am not going to get the actual view so I'll like approximately i will draw it so this will be your true length right this will be your true length a 1 b 1 this will be your true length now Similarly, what you can do, do is draw a perpendicular. So, from uh, taking 90 degree from A, draw a perpendicular. I am not taking 90 degree, approximately drawing and take distance 1 from 2. Take distance of what? If you are drawing perpendicular from A, take distance of A dash to x y line, right? A dash to x y line and, and cut it here. So, you are taking distance of A dash to x y line, that will be let it be A2. And similarly, you have to draw perpendicular from B. Before that, what you have to do? Before drawing perpendicular, check whether opposite is closing x y line. A dash b dash is not closing x y line. So draw b perpendicular from b in the same direction. And now take distance. Take this distance and cut it here in order to obtain a to b two. So this a one b one and a two b two are representing the true length. This will be perpendicular, this will be perpendicular, this will be perpendicular, this will be. So, distance I am showing, this distance you have taken here, this distance you have taken here, this distance you have taken here, and this distance you have taken here. So, keep in mind that. Uh, and I want to say one more thing to you. See, already we have, uh, already I have told how to locate H, T and all, right? So, Now, joining a dash b dash to x y line, you will get h dash and see you have to extend this a b, you have to extend a b in order to type, in order to, you have to extend a b in order to touch a perpendicular from h dash, this will be your h t. Similarly, we will extend it here that will be your v and extend it to here and project it in order to obtain v will be here that will be v t dash so this point is v t dash and this point is h t now see i am going to draw one more thing based on this so usually if we try to join see if we extend a to b to it will touch at h t and if you extend a1 b1 if you extend a1 b1 it will touch h p t so and this angle will be actually theta and this angle will be phi and alpha actually you know that there is no difference this is alpha and this will be beta now i will summarize this see all already you know a dash b dash h dash v t dash on same line and a b v h t on same line right so starting from that i will tell everything once more a dash b dash h dash v t dash on same line a b v h t will be on same line based on this what you can say this will be friend view line and this will be top view line and the these two lines will be measuring alpha and beta now see a dash b dash will touch x y line at h dash right these two lines are two lines so in order to join these two lines means you have to draw perpendicular line so from this you can understand a dash b dash just write these eight words from this you can understand everything see a dash b dash will touch x y line at h dash and in order to find h t draw a line perpendicular to which look this line a b b h t line you will get h t right similarly a b will touch x y line at v so how to find v t dash v t dash is on another line so draw a perpendicular to a dash b dash this line then you will get v t dash so now you can from these four words you can understand uh, this uh, eight uh, words you can uh, not eight words uh, it's uh, only these eight letters you can understand all these things and one more thing see uh, a dash b dash 
see a dash b dash and its corresponding true length will meet at vt dash right so a dash b dash and its corresponding true length will be meeting at this point vt dash and a b and its corresponding true length will meet at ht so a b and its corresponding true length will meet at ht right one more thing how to find theta and phi so a dash b dash and its corresponding true length will be meeting at vt dash and the angle included by that two line will be inclination with c vt means inclination with vp that is phi here see a dash b dash and its corresponding true length will be meet v, will meet at vt dash vt dash means you will under, first first thing we will with uh, first thing which come into your mind is vp right so vt dash means that angle will be phi inclination with vp similarly ab and its corresponding true, true length will meet at ht ab and its corresponding true length will meet at ht that two lines are separated by an angle which ht means inclination with hp that is theta so keep in mind these things from this you can solve all the problems so this method will be completely easy for solving ht vt problems first we will see one more problem and then we will go to further problem first we will see one more problem here and then the next video we will go to more problems see i already told you uh, i will explain the i will explain the uh means uh, the uh, uh, means uh, the projectors draw i mean the perpendiculars drawn from both the end points are in same direction the previous problem how it will be if the line is crossing x y line right that will see in the next problem see now draw the projection of a line if the distance between end projectors is 50 mm point p is 10 mm below hp see now just we will first i will start with the x y line point p is 10 mm below hp that means p dash 10 so p dash 10 mm below x y line then and 40 mm in front of vp that means p is 40 mm below x y line then point q is distance between end projectors is 50 mm so from here take 50 mm draw another line such that point q is 20 mm above hp 20 mm above hp means q is above x y line 20, 20, 10 mm in front means here it will come q dash so this is q dash and this will be q t to in mm in front of vp now this will be p dash q dash and this will be your p q this we have draw the already solved in line rotation method now how the plane rotation method we will see so first you will start from p i will draw a perpendicular from p now before that i will find h h dash v t dash etc that will be helpful so see in this problem we can write that p dash q dash h dash v t dash will be on same line p q v h t will be on same line so p dash q dash will touch x y line at h dash see h dash will be here and if we join p q line then we will get h t from here draw a projection line here this will be your h t now p q will meet at v right p q i will extend this will be your v if you project it to p dash q dash line you will get the v dash right so i will be extending it here so this will be your vt dash now what we are going to do we will start from p right i will draw a perpendicular from p on the on this line we have to mark the opposite view to xy line that is p in which a perpendicular take distance from p dash to xy line see this p dash to this distance you have to take on compass and cut it here in order to obtain p2 now see we, now we have to draw perpendicular from q before that what i have told you is check whether the opposite view is crossing right opposite view is crossing means p dash q dash is crossing x y line or not p dash is below x y line and q dash is above x y line that is it is crossing the x y line at h dash right so from at h dash it is crossing x y line crossing x y line means draw the projector in the opposite direction so that's why here we have drawn a project we have drawn a perpendicular sorry not the projector we have drawn a perpendicular in the below direction means from q you have to draw perpendicular q you have to draw perpendicular in the opposite direction means you have to draw like this and on it mark distance of q dash to x y line so this distance q dash to x y line on it mark here and 
while joining these two lines it should pass through ht see p dash q dash and its sorry pq and corresponding two length will touch ht so it will pass through ht otherwise it is wrong p2 q2 you have already obtained and angle is this is angle that is theta ht means it is theta now similarly from p dash draw a perpendicular then take distance of p to xy line uh, mark p1 similarly q dash you have to draw before that you have to check whether pq is crossing see pq is not crossing so kindly note we are checking whether the opposite view is crossing or not so if p here p dash q dash is crossing but the perpendicular is drawn from p dash and q dash is in same direction why we are not checking whether p dash q dash is crossing when we draw the perpendicular through p dash q dash instead opposite view is crossing or not see uh, p dash q dash in our perpendicular number uh, perpendicular to varikya neram same direction la endonda avada nammal check cheyina p dash q dash cross cheyunnundo nalla opposite view cross cheyunnundo nanu adathu pq cross cheyunnundo nanu pq cross cheyunnundo illa p, p and q both are below x y line so pq is not crossing so we are not checking whether the that view is crossing instead we are checking the opposite view is crossing or not so p dash from uh, p dash q dash while drawing p dash q dash we have to check whether pq is crossing here pq is not crossing so draw the perpendicular in same direction is that same direction now what you have to do distance of q dash to x y line only mark it here now why this is your q1 and join this and extend it it will touch at v t dash see based on the p dash q dash and corresponding to one will meet at h t dash and this angle will be your vt means this will be phi inclination vt so this is the plane rotation method based on this we will see uh, the rest of assignment problems on the next video